Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson we want to find the net force on charge A, which is this one up here. So that means we're going to need to work out the force of C on A, and then also the force of B on A. We're not going to look at C on B, because that's not what this question is about. So we want to know how is A going to move because of B and C. So let's look at C and A first. So we'll go F, A, C, and that's going to be K, or I can actually fill that in as 9 times 10 to the 9. Remember the formulas up here. The charge of A is just 4. We're not going to say negative 4. The charge of C is 2 times 10 to the minus 9. Why? Because there's that N over there. Remember, you need to learn those. And then the distance between them is 1 and then squared. That'll give you 72 newtons. Now, A is negative. B, I mean C is positive, so they will attract each other, so they'll move towards each other, but we are interested in A, and so A will move down. Now we're going to look at the force of B on A, so we'll say FAB, that's going to be equal to 9 times 10 to the 9 times by, A is 4, B is 3 times 10 to the minus 9, the distance between them is 2, and please remember to square. And that'll give us 27 newtons. Now, B is positive, and A is negative, so they will attract each other. But we are interested in A, so it means that A will move to the right. Okay, so what we have is the following. A is going to cause, I mean, C is going to cause A to move down, and then B is going to cause A to move to the right. And so imagine you go downwards and to the right. Well, that means you're going to go in that direction. And so we'll use a green line to show the final direction. So A, sorry, uh, this here is 72 newtons, and this one is 27. Now this is a right angle, and so we could use Pythagoras to find the result, which is this one over here. So we can say 72 squared plus 27 squared and that's going to be equal to the result, so I'm just going to say r squared, and then r will just be the square root of 72 squared plus 27 squared, and then you type that all in the calculator. You never want to take the square root of those separately, it doesn't work. And so the resultant force is going to be 76.90 newtons. Now we need to find the direction, and so you need to find some angles. So just remember that this is your x-axis going over there, and then that's your y-axis. And so let's say we find this angle over here. Now your teacher will typically use tan, and I'll show you why. Because if you're looking for this angle here, then you've got the opposite, and you've got the adjacent, and that's tan. So we can say tan theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And then to find theta itself, you would have to say shift, and then tan, and then 27 over 72. Shift, I mean, on the Casio calculators. And so you're going to say shift tan 27 over 72, and that's going to give you 20.56 degrees. Now, the direction is very important. You can't just say 20.56 degrees. You need to look at this angle. That angle is to the right, so that's going to be west, of what line? Well, this line going down here like that is south, so it's west of south. There are other ways to do this. For example, when I said that we're going down and then to the right, you can also have, you might have said that we are going to the right first and then down. So you would have had a triangle that looks like this, where this is 72 and this was 27. And then you would have count, um, found this angle over here. And it would have been different. So you would have said tan theta is equal to opposite, which is now 72 over 27. And that's going to be shift tan of 72 over 27. And that gives you 69.44 degrees. But now your direction is going to be slightly different. So this angle here is going down like that. So that's south. So I can say south of, and it's south of this line going to the right, which is the west line. 
And so some students might get an answer of 20.56 west of south. Some will get an answer of 69.44 south of west. Both of them are the same. 69.44 plus 20.56 equals 90 degrees. And so it's just base. And so both of them are exactly the same. I promise you that. So you must do whatever's comfortable for you. Thank you for watching.